No, no, just been working oh, out. Oh my god, he just <laughs> came in and took his top off. No, I didn't. He just he went, yeah, and no, ripped his top off. Sorry, what? Actually, wait, this is the first time I want to see with Thompson for you, isn't it? Cheers. Thanks for having me. Woo! An absolute pleasure. I reckon I can actually tell you how. Oh god, tell me. Oat milk. It's oat milk. Correct, my yep. friend. You also need a hundred percent a builder's tea with sugar. Or a green tea. Oh yeah, you're weird like that. I just mm. don't get how you drink those green teas. Because you do know me, actually, don't you? That's what... <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, hey, ex girlfriend. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> How how is it um, ice skating with Jay though? Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> wow, he is like a five year old child. Doesn't sit down. Almost like eats his like dinner, any food so quickly to get onto the next thing. It's like how does anyone have that amount of energy? I just don't know. Honestly, bouncing ball, dun 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 in my ear the whole time. Apart from that, it's great. He's here right now. Jay. Sorry, I've just been working oh, out. Oh my god, he just came in and took his top off. No, I didn't. He just, he went, yeah, and no, ripped his top off. Sorry, what? Listen, I feel like I'm in prison. I'm, uh, I'm learning Spanish and I'm working out. Well, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's Stop lying. I, like, sorry, you're a liar. I am learning <laughs> Spanish. Talk to me in Spanish. Go on. Hola, como esta? Muy bien. ¿Cuántos años tiene? De nada. There you go. <laughs> See? Can I just set you a challenge? Go on. Okay, don't have sex during the week. That's the challenge, because we've set that challenge. No, don't do it anyway. <laughs> we haven't told each other, but we've set it. <laughs> In your head, you know. You know that it's just that. Yeah, if you complete it, well done. <laughs> Mate, don't worry. Already, we've already completed it. Don't no, worry no. about that. I just love the way that the, the part of me hasn't actually moved from your embrace. For the whole day. And by the way, Jamie gets so upset because she just is so much more in love with me than she is with Jamie. You and Jay at the end of like, obviously what had been a, a pretty savage series for the both of you, coming together and showing a united strength and, and showing like a, an enormous amount of love for other people it might have broken them to be going to be going through that kind of turbulent time, right? And you yeah. can't get away from it. And the fact that you guys actually found a way and found a place to actually put it all behind you and just sort of show so much love. I actually really, really, really loved it. Oh, thanks, Sam. Yeah, I think it, I think, I think it's crazy because also like, you know, we're all so close and we're always together and everyone talks about everything and it all gets on top of each other. And particularly with Jamie and I, because Jamie's obviously, as you know, so he's really protective. So then it always came home with us as well. Um, yeah. So it was, it's like, yeah, it was quite, it was an intense series. Are you talking to Emily Blackwell? No, Emily, <laughs> Emily's not meant to reach out to me once off camera, but obviously on camera she did. But like, that's totally fine. Like, you know, it's just- so, so this is it, friendship over, gonzo. Well, no, I have nothing, like, like, I don't, like, obviously in the time it was so heated and, like, you know, looking back, obviously everyone's like, oh, my God, you and Jamie did the same. And I so see where people are coming from. You will be able to agree with it. And, like, in many ways we did. When you're in that position, it's, like, the same with you. It wasn't, you really never had an issue with me, but you, obviously, Jamie and your friend. Yeah, yeah. It was the betrayal from a friend, and and yeah, you know, obviously you and Jamie made friends because well, that's Jamie, the point, though. Has um, we made up? We he, made... he he reached out to you. I've not had any reaching out to, him, but that's also totally fine. I'm like, <laughs> totally fine. It's fine. Your voice is going seven octaves high. Okay, fine. everyone. <laughs> no, like it just is what it is. It's just obviously weird because you know, I lived, we lived together for two years, and there's a lot of memories and. Blah, 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 and it's weird to not speak to somebody, but I think that I'm really like an emotional person, so I can't really control whether I'm angry, upset, or whatever. So obviously, Jamie's so protective, but I, you know, it should have just been between Emily and I. Yeah, and what do you think about Harvey? Do you think that do you harbor any bad feelings towards him, or is it just Emily at, at the time you're feeling like a little bit betrayed? Do you think Harvey had any part to play in that? It wasn't to do with him dating somebody. It was more so that, you know, it was more so between Emily and I, and I yeah. think he just probably got the brunt of it, really. Every Monday, I'm literally like, come, here we go, love oh, I'm like triangle. Sleepy. 
dry those tears up, you baby. I want to bitch slap my own face and be like, man the fuck up. What would you say has been the most interesting part of this series, other than obviously what's been Tiff, Zara knew. Shouldn't have asked it. I just think that hopefully in the not too distant future, Zara and Tiff are going to be good pals because you I don't keep think, on dreaming Sam you keep on dreaming I don't, I don't think at the moment it's happening <laughs> and, and I, can't, I I'm gonna be with you and really hope that happens do you know what I really wanted it to be like was like when you and Zara first met you were brunching after a couple of days yeah we, we got on really well Perhaps I don't know but it's one of those things that I just I actually thought that by this point in time I'd be prying them away from each other I thought they'd be like, they'd be like, oh, we love, we're such good friends. I'm like, this is getting a bit weird. Maybe but it's gone the opposite direction. They don't like inherently don't get along. Like they just don't see eye to eye. Why is that? Or you have got something to do with it. I've got a what? Or you've got something to do with it. Nah, nah I don't think it's that. I think, I it's think just, it I'm, might be that one. I think it might be you getting into Ubers, maybe mix crossing of the wires. Oh, mate, that Uber journey was just the worst. Do you know what? Do you know how it went down, right? I said to her, I was like, anyway, Tiff, actually, lovely to talk to you properly. This has been a long time coming. I'm going to go. So I've got to be up early tomorrow. And she went, oh, I'm going to go anyway as well. Do you want to share an Uber? Now, at that junction, right, I don't know whether it's more awkward to go, no, that would be weird. Yeah, or just the people, please, like myself, and go, yeah, all right, fuck it. Like, I knew... I actually get what you mean. I probably would have been like, yeah, right? Because it's... Because really you make it even more uncomfortable. It looks like then you're, like, in love with her and you're like, oh, God, I can't... Exactly. Be it's more weird. It's like, why is that weird, Sam? We're just two random people. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, Habs, all I want to say is thank you so much for coming on Quarantine with Thompson. I think it's been a real so pleasure. So, um, thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Habs. I really appreciate it. Bye. Thanks for having me.